I'll give you an example of a really fantastic piece of direction. I did seven years, kind of really about seven years, with Chris Nolan yes. and the three Batmans. And Chris is not a big note giver. He, 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 he does leave you alone. He expects you to do your work, come in, and you do your work, I'm going to do my work. And, you know, so he does, he does tend to leave you alone. He is not real one, he's not one for small talk. You know, you get there and you're there to work, and, and he's very charming. And, but and I did a scene once in Batman, and he came up to me, and it was probably one of two notes he ever gave me in seven years. And he came up to me and he said, let's do that one more time. There's more at stake. And I went, yep, got it, all right, let's do one more. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah? That's a fantastic piece of direction. Yeah. You know, I don't need to know the ins and outs of the whole universe. I just need that nudge. And then you go, oh, he just wants me to just turn it up. Yeah. I just need to adjust the volume on it. Not vocally, right. but the energy or the dynamic of it he wants. You know. And I, I, I always, I, you all, I use that as an example because that is just a fantastic, a really fantastic piece of direction. Well, because you know your tools. Yeah. They know the feeling they're trying to get out of a scene. Yeah. And that, that is... But I, yeah, I like, I, like, I, like, I like being directed, yeah. Well, it's funny. Like, I mean, your recent collaboration with, with Chris Nolan, was, I think a, a day on Oppenheimer. I often have talked to actors and filmmakers. Like, the hardest thing to do is to jump into a film mm. like one or two days and just seamlessly blend in. Yeah, with Chris, I didn't know exactly where they were in the shooting of it. Right. Um, uh, Kilima Murphy is the, one of the most the sweetest guy on earth. He was such a lovely man. Yeah. And I knew I'd cross paths with him from, uh, from the Batman. Um, and, uh, and I, Chris said, you want to come in for a day and do this? And I said, sure. I went, great, you know. Um, and I had the scene with, with just Killiam. It was terrific. But I did not know where it was in the shooting or anything like that. I, I, I maybe, if I had known just the sheer scale of it, and I, um, I, I may have been a little more intimidated, I don't, right. y you know. But it was just a man talking to another man in a room. Right. You know, so it was very sort of intimate interior. Um, and then you see where it, where it f falls in the thing. But that, again, was um, Chris just said, he trusted me to put it together. So speaking of, of, of Nolan, actually, I had a few kind of like setting the record straight questions for you, because some rumored roles that might have come or gone in your career. Um, one is that Chris Nolan initially wanted you to play Liam Neeson's role in Batman Begins, Ra's al Ghul. Do you remember that? Did he initially ask you to play that role instead of Jim Gordon? I got a feeling it was Scarecrow. Oh, okay. Another baddie. You're good with baddies. You're, you're yeah, fine. no, yeah, and that was about the time when I sort of was thinking, I've really had, in, uh, I've had enough of this. Right. And I think it was Doug, my manager, said, or suggested to Chris, what about Jim Gordon? And to his credit, Chris, hmm, oh, that's interesting. And we met, and that's, that's how it sort of, yeah, came about. But I, I think it might be Scarecrow. I'm not okay. sure. 